is my bun not scented? Meep. Hey guys, it's Rachel T. Tyler and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this makeup look. I wouldn't call this a makeup tutorial because as you'll see in the video, I didn't really know what I was doing with my makeup. It's pretty much all the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. Eyeshadow, blush, highlight, everything. Not everything, but most of this. If you want to watch along and see how I created this look, please do. And yeah, I hope you like it. So a few weeks ago, I received the Fenty Beauty PR package that included the Moroccan Spice palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this package on YouTube already, so I'm not going to bother going through it. As you can see, I have not um, used it at all. So, I don't know, today will be like a first impressions, get ready with me. I don't know what the look is, but we'll figure it out on the way. And yeah, I've got my base on already, so I've just put my foundation and a bit of bronzer and my eyebrows. That's all I've got on my face. Oh, lip balm. My lips are looking a little bit crazy. I got a really bad windburn on my lips. Have you ever had that? It fucking sucks. Now they're all raw and sore and swollen let's just go let's just open this let's just start having a play um so i think hmm, um, by putting come and get it all over the lid just a sweep of color okay so that is come and get it as the base what do we want to play with next? Okay, so I'm going in with that darker pink tone and that is the color Saffron. Just going to pat that on the lid. Then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush to blend that out. I'm just going to continue building up some color with the same Saffron eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to blend the color, really, really blow it out, kind of almost to the brow bone. So it's going to be quite a big wash of pink. Ooh, I'm doing something. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I think I'm just going to drag it in and connect it into my nose, the sides of my nose. Just a tiny bit in there. In case you couldn't tell, I am not a makeup artist. I just like to have a play around, so maybe don't copy this look. This is all gonna make sense soon. It's just, it's coming together in my head. So what I'm gonna do is create a nice flush across the cheeks. And you know how when you get just a little bit of, a little bit of too much sun and you get quite flushed right across the bridge of your nose? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect it all a bit later, so don't be scared. I'm a little bit scared. We don't have to go nowhere today. Today is a day of just emails and submitting deadlines. So I ain't seeing the world outside. <laughs> the world outside is not seeing me, just, you know, YouTube. Ooh, I think I need to do some shading under my eyes because I'm feeling a little bit crazy right now. I'm still using that same color. And then just with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff that out around the nose and kind of just up toward the eyebrows so there's no harsh lines. I'm going to go back in again with that same dark pink kind of red color saffron and I'm going to add color in the outer and inner corner of the eyes and skipping the middle. I'm just going to deepen those edges. And then just always going in with that fluffy brush and buffing everything out. And then with that gap that I've left, I'm gonna pop in this little pinky shimmer tone. Looks like it's a little bit of a jewel metallic with gold in it. So I'm just gonna use my finger just for a little bit of a halo effect. I think now I'm just gonna pop some mascara on and just see how I'm feeling once my lashes have a little bit of something something on them. I'm using Benefits They're Real 
in black as per usual. I am too lazy to go get my eyelash curler. Now I've got some scar on. I think I'm gonna pop that shimmery pink color that we used. This guy. Just in the inner corners. I know it looks pink, but it actually shimmers quite gold. You can see it on the center of the lid. What was that called? Sahara Stunner. I didn't even tell you what it was before. I'm really bad at this. There you go. So now I'm gonna go in and do my blush and highlight. The only things that I'm missing from the face now. And I left it out because I thought I was gonna go in and try and use some of these as blushes. Because, you know, why not have a bit of fun? The only thing is I don't know how I'm gonna load my big blush brush with these. Let's figure it out together. So I'm taking this peach tone called Quicksand on my blush, blush, blush brush. Just very carefully. And of course, eyeshadows are very pigmented compared to blushes, so be gentle. I'm gonna go all over the cheek and kind of right up on top of the cheekbone into the hairline and all the way in to the nose. And I'm going to create a really, really flushed look. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really feeling this look. I love putting blush right up under the eye. It's such a sweet kind of look. And then I'm gonna pop it across the nose bridge as well. Oh, it's so sweet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put down my highlight now because I find that sometimes highlight can kind of, what's the opposite of muddy? <laughs> Now sometimes contour can like muddy your look if you put it on after other things. I think that highlight does the same thing, <clears throat> kind of takes away from the pigment of the blush if you put it on after. So I'm going to go in with my highlight now. I'm going to use the same color that we use in the inner corners and the center of the lid. I'm just using the same brush. I'm just going to pop it on the cheekbones. On the forehead, on the brow bone, and also just at the top of the bridge there. My cupid bow. I actually don't like putting it there, but I just thought, I don't know, it could be cute. Be chin. Cute. All right, now I'm gonna go in and pop some more blush just at the very top, very close to the eye. I'm gonna go back in with the eyeshadow color that we've been using a lot, which is the color Saffron. I should know that by now. I'm using Saffron with the same brush. She's a dark one, so I gotta be careful. Right there. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, my camera died and basically what I finished is my blush. I popped Sahara on the high points of my cheekbones there, very close to the eye. So just in here and then buffed it out. And then I also popped it across the bridge of the nose in between where I put the two points of highlight there. So you really get that flush look like I've been in the, out in the sun too long. I probably should have worn some sunscreen. My mama taught me better, but I didn't. And now here we are. That is the blush look. So now I think, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll try to get up close. I have a bunch of freckles that are kind of speckled across my cheekbones and I've lost them now with all the product I've put on top. So I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil. This is precisely my brow in the number six. And I'm gonna just bring them back out. because so I think it's a really sweet look and it would suit having my freckles come through. I think I'm gonna leave my lips alone because as I said, they're a little bit windburned and sore. But I think it's cute to just have a natural lip with this. So yeah, I'm just gonna set her and now the Urban Decay Chill Spray for a little bit of a dewy look. 
that is it that is a final look you guys if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe and stick around for some more content and i guess until then i will see you on instagram Mwah!